I'm Jay Chogat, Senior Editor of Clean Trucking, and I am here in Hanover, Germany at the Clarios Battery Factory. And today I am speaking to Dave Patel. David, what is your title here? I am VPGM Energy Systems Business Unit for Clarios. So my responsibility includes lithium ion and all the advanced technology bringing into the production. So what exactly are we looking at behind us? So what we are looking at is our 12 volt assembly line, which we started the production in 2020 for a major OEs, two major OEs. We Thank assembled you. the 12 volt lithium ion batteries yes. that goes in multiple platforms for those two E's in the multiple plants. And okay. those batteries are used in a variety of vehicles from a traditional start-stop, plug-in hybrids to the EV vehicles. The battery we assemble here are NMC LTO technology. The batteries we are assembling here yes. is for passenger vehicles, okay. but we are capable to assemble the commercial truck batteries as well. If we change the pallets of the component that's going around, sure. we can assemble 12 volt, 24 volt, different chemistry, commercial truck, passenger car batteries on a similar assembly line. And as you were explaining to me earlier that you develop batteries specifically for the customer's requirements, correct? Can you explain yeah. some of that process when they come to you and how that starts from initial consultation to the final product? Since this battery are highly complex electronics chemistry combination. Sure. Our customer comes to us, they tell us about what they are looking for in terms of the energy, what they are looking for in terms of power, what is the application. So we work with them on an early stage. We help our customer define the requirements, specification. We work together with them, identify the optimized solution in terms of chemistries, in terms of the voltage, configuration of the cells, the packaging, mechanical packaging. Then we do the detailed design work and the battery development goes into the three phase. Production design validation, production validation and mass production. What you are seeing over here is this product already went through that whole cycle and it's in a mass production for the original equipment customer. Okay. I heard you saying earlier that this is constantly producing batteries. How many batteries does this assembly line produce per minute, per hour? So this assembly line right now is configured to produce one battery per minute. One battery per minute? One battery wow. per minute is configured to many. We run three shifts, five days a week, capacity around 300,000, which we can increase by adding a couple of more stations for the automation. So you're saying at least 300,000 batteries every single week? Every single year. Every single year, excuse right. me. Every single year, 300,000 batteries is coming off this assembly, this assembly line. line. The whole line is manned with eight robot, 18 stations. It's a highly, highly automated. And this process is fully robotized, automated. We are very proud of our chemistry agnostic and the low voltage approach means this line can be adopted to make a multiple battery systems, as I indicated before, sodium ion or different lithium ion chemistry, commercial truck or the passenger car. Okay, so you mentioned chemistry agnostic. What exactly does that mean, chemistry agnostic? Lithium ion? Yes. When we talk lithium ion, it's a one word, but there are many flavors. Mm -hmm. LFP, lithium ion phosphate. Sure. What we talk about LTO, lithium titanate oxide, NMC, nickel manganese cobalt. Those are different flavor of the lithium ion. Okay. Sodium ion, different chemistry. So we are not limiting ourselves to one chemistry. We are open to using multiple chemistries. All right, well, thank you very much. And I hope everyone had a good experience checking out the Clarios Battery Factory here in Hanover, Germany, where we're reporting from the IAA 2024 Commercial Truck Show. Thanks for watching, everyone.